Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a Hack 5 tool called the Rubber Ducky. So if you guys aren't familiar with the Rubber Ducky, it's a key logger, and we'll get into that when we jump onto the desktop. So it looks like this, right? And I wanna show you guys, obviously before we get into the video, please like, subscribe, and share. We're almost at 50,000 subscribers, so I wanna thank every single one of you guys. And today is Halloween, I represent the night he came home, I'm a big, uh, big Halloween fan. And uh, you want to see something funny too? Just before, look, my slippers are Michael. But anyhow, so, uh, you know, we're a road to 50,000 50, subscribers. And when I get to 50,000, I am going to do a giveaway. So I don't want to talk too much about that, but we'll get to there maybe at the end of the year, hopefully sooner, but let's get there. So. This video is gonna be about the rubber ducky and how to set it up and how to create a payload, right? So this is the rubber ducky. I wanna take it apart in a, in a second, but look at this and look at this, right? It looks pretty similar, All right? Let, let me open this thing up. So it looks like one yellow, looks exactly the same, right? But this, this one is malicious, right? So, what can we do with this? We can do a few things. We can create payloads and stuff like that, and we'll get into that shortly. So what you can do with this now, we can take this apart. Um, so let me take it apart and showcase that in a second. So we can take this off and we can pop this open. Obviously the rubber ducky is right here. I just unboxed it. So if you have it, you can just unbox it, put it together and stuff like that. So let me pry this open. We can pry this open. Uh, I want to put it down for a second. I wish I had a camera above me, but I don't. But you can see here, uh, let's see, and it has a little micro, uh, micro SD card. So with this micro SD card, what I want to do is I'm going to remove it, right? Remove it from here. And I'm going to go ahead and I have this little adapter. And I want to go ahead and put it into here or right here, uh, right there. And I wanna plug this into my laptop, right? And then when we plug into my laptop, I wanna go ahead and jump onto my, oh, Siri tried to think I was talking to her. But I wanna pop this into my laptop and we're gonna jump onto my laptop and go from there. So let's jump onto the desktop and continue. <music> All right, guys, so we're on my desktop now. I'm remoted into my desktop. I plug the mini SD card into my laptop. So let's go ahead and minimize this and go to, here we go. So we can see the mini, uh, the mini SD card doesn't have anything on there, right? So let's go ahead and minimize that and show how we can get a payload on there. So when we plug in the USB, you know, it can do whatever we direct it to do. Right, so let's go ahead and open up um, my Brave browser and we can just go to different kinds of payloads on the internet. Hack5 has a rubber ducky payloads page. You can tinker around with this. You can say, for example, library, you know, different kind of stuff, mobile, uh, exfiltration, execution, and credentials and phishing, prank. Let's see what, what's in prank. You know, there's a whole bunch of things like wallpaper troll, and let's see, like the payload is here, the payload.txt. So this is the payload here. So this is pretty much what it's gonna do if you add that payload and it's super simple. So this is a plug and play, no modifications need to be. Okay, so what I wanna do is I created a basic payload, right? Super, super basic. And I got it from, from the internet. I just down, I mean, I just copied it and made some modifications. So you can do the same. And like you said, there's a boatload of payloads out there. And, uh, you know, you can tinker with that. So what we're going to do is go to ducktoolkit.com in code. So if you just go to duck toolkit, just go ahead and write to the homepage. And we can do payload encoder, create and encode your own payload to be an inject, uh, to be an inject bin. So once we have this open, I want to go ahead and copy my code. Right, I'm gonna copy that and go ahead and paste that here. Right, so it's pretty simple what I'm doing. 
right? So we can do the language as United States, right? And then we can come down here and encode. Yes, okay. Then we have this download uh, inject.bin. So this is the this is the file that's going to go ahead and execute that payload. So let's go ahead and download that. Instead of downloads, I want to put it onto my D drive. Okay. I want to name it inject.bin. Okay. Perfect. So now if we open up File Explorer, we have that file on there. All right, cool deal. So now what we can do is X out all this. We don't need this right now. We can pull this away. This is how I'm remoting in. All right, so I want to go ahead and e eject that now. Let's go here, eject. Okay. So now I want to take that. I want to take this out. All right, so I just took it out. Now I'm going to put it back into the USB, right? So let's go ahead and plug this back in and reassemble this really quick. So give me a minute. Okay, so I just put this back together. Let's put this little metal thing on to make it look all back to normal. Okay, it's clipped in, it's back to normal. So we have two USBs, we can just drop these anywhere and, uh, and see what happens, all right? But anyhow, we're gonna go ahead and plug this into my laptop and see what happens. I wanna plug it in and I wanna do hands-free. So I wanna plug this in and hands-free, right? So my hands are up here and you can see it opened up US, it opened up the USB and look, it just, it wrote this really, really quick. So you've seen how fast that was and that was, that was it. It was just that simple. Obviously, please remember safety first. Also, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it informative, please like, subscribe, and share. We're almost at 50,000 subscribers. And uh, it's over there. I have a flipper. So I have a flipper zero, a white one, that I want to do a giveaway. And I think at 50,000 subscribers, that's halfway to 100,000. And I never thought I would get this far. So this is all because of you guys and girls and whoever watches my videos. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for the support and for the journey. You know, if you ever want to come on to a Thirsty Thursday live with me to talk about your journey in IT, cybersecurity, whatever you want to talk about, you know, I spare an hour of my time to go live. If it's someone that's in the community that just wants to get into IT, you know, don't be scared. You know, we can show face and, um, you know, talk about different things. So again, hopefully this video found, you know, was informative and you guys found some value out of it. And remember, please like, subscribe and share and happy Halloween. Michael's coming home tonight. So uh, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much.